Welcome to Text the Nation. Joining us is John Rinaldi, the CEO of a company called Geobit. J-I-O-B-I-T. Thanks for joining us, John. Thank you so much for having me. Well, Geobit is in an interesting space. Uh, give us a little bit of an overview of what you do. Yeah, so Geobit develops incredibly low-power uh, real-time location tracking platforms that can track uh, your most precious assets, whether it's your kids, your pets, uh, or other things, uh, anywhere in the world, um, anytime you need it. Well, describe for us what uh, the Geobit that's on the market now looks like, how it works. Step us through. Yeah, sure. So it's a modular form factor, meaning that it can attach to lots of different fabrics or items with different accessories or mounting brackets. Super small in the size of about a couple quarters, um, super lightweight, um, and uh, incredibly discreet. Uh, so you can kind of put it anywhere you want. Uh, you don't even know it's there. Uh, and we'll track for at least a week, if not more, on a single charge. So this is uh, using a, a cellular network and, and other wireless as well, right? It does. So it uses a technology that we've invented called progressive beaconing, uh, and that meshes together lots of different radio frequencies, everything from cellular, GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, along with a ton of other sensors uh, to really have this uh, self-learning capability in the device that allows it to last uh, much longer than anything else uh, in the market today. How'd this come about? Yeah, great question. So a few years ago, uh, I took my son at the time, six years old, to downtown Chicago. I live in the suburbs of the city. And uh, we went down to a huge park called Maggie Daly Park. And um, I was by myself, my, my daughter and my wife were on the other side of the park. And before I knew it, uh, he had just disappeared from my side. And uh, he's just as a parent, a couple seconds, a couple minutes go by and you're, you're terrified about, about what could be happening um, at six years old. They, they have a hard time still pronouncing their last name. They probably don't know their phone number or their address. Uh, and so uh, I was terrified. Uh, 30 minutes, you're, you're just beyond yourself. Uh, fortunately, after 30 minutes, he found me um, and, and everything ended up being OK. Uh, but came from that event thinking uh, I got to buy everything in the market around location tech, uh, tracking and, and everything was just, quite frankly, garbage. And so it inspired me to do something about it. Um, I, I knew a thing or two about uh, motion sensors uh, and low power fusion systems uh, from our time at Motorola and recruited some engineering to, uh, to leave and, and start the company. Really interesting. So tell us how pricing works on this. Yeah, so there's a, a, a piece of hardware, the product itself that you purchase, um, and then you have a monthly subscription for our global network. Um, so if uh, you're familiar with uh, cellular networks, there's something called an MVNO, a mobile virtual network operator. A uh, fancy name for we lease and or buy up extra capacity on networks around the world uh, and use them in our own network. Uh, so we provide a network to our users anywhere in over 150 different countries uh, to use the product anywhere they may go, whether it's on vacation or just down the block. Um, and, and you have a monthly service for that in the cloud services we provide uh, through a smartphone. And the pricing? The pricing is about $9 a month for the service. And, uh, and we allow for different discounts if you sign up for different types of contracts. Uh, so the hardware price will get discounted down to about 100 bucks uh, with a two-year contract. Really interesting. So what are the limitations of how people can use this? Uh, you've mentioned, I think, kids and, and, and pets, but I'm sure there are plenty more, including for the elderly. <laughs> Yeah, so the senior market is a, an emerging one, um, as you brought up, and one that we see a lot of customers using it for. While we're just marketing it to kids and pets, it doesn't stop people from thinking of all sorts of other great uses for it. Uh, a large number of our customers, about 25%, are uh, parents of special needs children. Uh, you have children with autism that will elope. Uh, many of them are nonverbal, and so we have a strong community within the special needs uh, market. Uh, and then you also have another uh, types of markets like runners, athletes that are out training on 15-mile runs. They don't want to bring a phone with them. Um, and also enterprise customers. Uh, just last year, we signed uh, several contracts with uh, government customers in national defense and security. Is it suitable for in-vehicle use, for tracking vehicles? So vehicles are an interesting one because you've really got a big battery source, uh, which is the battery of the uh, car itself. Um, and so while it could be used, 
there would be a lot of other ways that you could do it uh, probably more efficiently and effectively. Um, our product is really best for things on the body and or things that are what I would call sub palate level tracking. Uh, so if you need to know where something is right now uh, at any time uh, at a sub palate level, um, some sort of really important object, uh, our product is incredibly suitable and perfect for that type of use. Uh, and given our security architecture, lots of government customers and enterprise customers, as well as parents, uh, given the amount of hacking that's going on, uh, it provides a huge uh, peace of mind to them uh, that they know that their precious asset isn't being hacked. And tell us how it's charged and, and how long that charge lasts. I think you talked a little bit about it. Yeah. Um, so the product, this technology that we mentioned, lasts about a week. For pets, it's going to last about two to three weeks. Uh, for uh, kids about a week. Uh, it's a rechargeable lithium polymer battery um, that has a little charging dock uh, that comes with it. So you just place it in. Uh, your smartphone will tell you as it starts getting a little bit low on juice uh, to go back and recharge it. Uh, in my kids' case, they have it just in their bedroom and charge it kind of once every few days. Very cool. So you've got this on the market now. You want to tell us about any plans for 2019? Yeah, so we started our pet product in beta last year, or I should say this year in 2018, about uh, in May or so. Um, and so we're really starting to aggressively deploy that product uh, and market that product this year. So it's a big focus of ours uh, is around the pet product. And then also start to market the product into these other types of use cases that, that you mentioned, senior markets, uh, athletes, special needs. And so it's really about a year of scaling up the, the business that we have. Uh, but also there are new technologies and networks that are coming online across the world, uh, something you may have heard of, uh, low-power wide area networks um, in the United States. These are known as LTE CAT-M networks. Uh, they're much more efficient, uh, lower power, um, and longer, um, longer reach in terms of being able to communicate with a base station um, and in a low-power fashion. And so we'll be taking advantage of those networks about mid-year with a, a new product that takes advantage of that technology. Very interesting. For more info, where do we go? Geobit.com, J-I-O-B-I-T.com. Terrific stuff. John Rinaldi, thanks for taking the time with us. Thanks for having me. Now this. How many companies out there have continued to innovate when it comes to building a better radio? I'm Fred Fishkin, host of Text to Nation, and I'm here to tell you about the new CC SkyWave SSB radio from the wonderful people at C-Crane. Bob and his crew really love radio, and it shows in this new compact model that is packed with features. Beyond great AM and FM reception and sound, you can tune into shortwave signals from around the world. Listen to ham radio operators, aviation, and more. It's the radio you'll turn to every day, and in emergencies. It will run for nearly three days on just two AA batteries. Pair the sleep timer with the new Soft Speaker 3, and you've got the perfect radio for your nightstand. Of course, it can wake you up too. Click on Ccrane at textination.com and put in the code textination for a free flashlight with your order. They love radio, and you'll love Ccrane.